Welcome back guys. I got some parts in the mail today from Michigan Motorsports. Um, so I went with the uh, factory OEM LS3 intake rocker arms. Um, did a quick research on Facebook, just like some of the groups like Boosted LSX. I just put in like rocker arms. And everybody said that these guys were a pretty good source. So I think I ordered them Thursday night and they came priority mail. So this, I guess this will be the first YouTube unboxing I've ever done. So we'll see. Some LS3 pedestals. Now we're just waiting on a trunnion upgrade. I'll be pressing these right on out into the trash can. Got the bronze trunnion upgrade coming. Hopefully that'll be here in a few days or so and I can get that knocked out. So that's pretty cool they are. Genuine GM. That's what I was looking for. I didn't want to risk running any kind of inferior metal. Even though these are probably made in, I don't know, Mexico or Canada. Let's see, it doesn't say where they're manufactured from or their origin. So we'll just assume they're made in America. Yeah, these nice American-made rocker arms here. And that's them, and they are the offset, as you can see. So I got eight of these, and I have a set of roller rockers, or factory rockers, my bad, from my CNC cathedral port heads and they also have the trunnion upgrade so I'm just gonna rob the a set of eight of those and run those on the exhaust side so now we're just waiting on some more parts alright so I'm still waiting on the trunnion upgrade kit to come in but I went ahead and started knocking these uh, stock trunnions out and I'll demonstrate to you guys how how I do it and I've done a couple and they sell like a special $50 tool for this but I just always find a couple of sockets and the rocker arm is machined flat right here so the socket fits right up against it and again this is how I do it I've done a couple sets now I probably did maybe five sets for people various friends and maybe some customers so I just throw it in the vise here Just push it through, just like that. And then drop all that junk out of there. And the reason you do the trunnion upgrade is because these uh, these little end caps here are notorious for blowing out, and then all these little needle bearings just roll through your engine, which is not good. You definitely don't want that. And once the new ones come in, I'll uh, I'll demonstrate how I put them together. All right, we got another package today from Tick Performance. Pretty sure it's the Trunnion upgrade, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got.
right. <clears throat> yep. well, I guess that was supposed to be presented a lot better. Super graceful. Yep, that's it. A little bag of snap rings. Some hardware. Alright, so I'll go ahead and show you how I put these together or how I install the Trunnion upgrade kit. Um, really, all you need is a couple of sockets. Um, some snap ring pliers, which I think just some straights will work fine. And then a little bit of oil helps. So I'll go ahead and show you how I do that real quick. All right, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how to do one at uh, live speed, I guess. I went ahead and did two already, so I know what sockets to use. And I'm a little bit faster now. So... So toss that joker in there, grab you a bushing. I'll start with the machine side first. Dab a little bit of oil in there. And then uh, what I'll do is stick it in the vise here. And just run it in first. Try to keep it square. Get it started. Once you're running up flush, you'll have enough room there to get your first snap ring on it. It's just kind of a pain in the butt when it's all oiled up. There you go, that one's in. Now I'll take my air blower to it and get these little fine pieces of brass. So uh, grab your next bushing. Same thing, dab a little oil. That just helps things along a little bit. Run it right up in there. Sock it. Oops, drop that one. <laughs> Push it back over till this snap ring bottoms out and you should have enough groove to get the other snap ring in it. Feels great. Anytime I press something though, I always give it a, a tap to relieve any additional stress, but as you can see, it's uh, good to go. Now I just gotta do it five more times.
All right, so that's how I install the trunnion upgrades on OEM rockers. It's pretty simple, not much to it. Like I said, a couple sockets, pair of snap ring pliers, and a vise. Uh, you could use a press or, I imagine you could use a hammer just as, just as much as a, a vise, probably wouldn't be an issue. Um, so that's them. Like I said, I got eight of them done and I'm going to use some standard cathedral ports or just non-offset rockers really. They already have a trunnion upgrade and I'm just going to keep this set here, this remaining eight, just for spares, just to, just to hang on to. You never know when I might need them or something like that. So I would, as much as I'd like to go throw these on the car right now and fire it up, I've already started pulling the turbos off, or actually one turbo is completely off uh, because I'm trying to reposition my wastegates, uh, which I'm making another video on currently just waiting on some stainless steel to come in. Uh, the, the piece that I did have, I ruined it and the notcher, you know, just trying to learn how to work that notcher and get angles right and everything. So I went ahead and ordered a couple feet from Summit and just waiting for that to get here. And as soon as that gets here, then we should be able to hook up the CO2 for the boost control and go out and make some rips on it and play with that and still have to wire in some transmission sensors. And uh, so lots of work to do, but looking forward to getting it knocked out so we can do some racing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and uh, click the bell for notifications when new videos drop. And uh, thanks for watching.